Hello, and we're doing sorcery. To pick an echo, you walk to the wilds of Karabad through Cain and the spiteful Bakelands all the way into Mapang. You, su you survive traps, thieves, serpents, and ventral gods, and now it is here. Crown of Kings. It is said the crown of was never forged, only found by Chalanda, the reformer. A lowly foot soldier who became emperor of the eastern world. Such is the power of the crown. The air around it crackles with influence. Take it or wait. I would take it. Your destiny awaits. The crown in your hands, you will be as powerful as Chandlander. The goblins are arming, the giants are walking, and the birdmen are carving cruel daggers from stone. War will come, but you will prevent it. But then, the image of the crown begins to flick as you rush forward. It's a trap! And startle yourself awake. You are alone, exhausted. Exhausted in their little hunt hut in the outpost settlement. Your unimaginable journey is not even a single step begun. Continue. So part one. And we're just outside these walls here. So you can move around the map. We've got Panther, whatever that means. We've got 20 stamina, no gold, no rations. So we can centre on our character. We have no items. We can decide uh, zooming out or not. No spells, and go on. So let's click us. To sunrise, you dress breakfast on the, on bread and goat's milk, and collect the pack and sword from beside your bed. So I can either test my blade, pray for luck, or leave the hut. I'm going to test the blade. You pause to test the blade against your thumb. The blacksmith has done well. The edge is keen and draws a narrow line of blood. Outside the hut, you hear it. the apple stirring into life. So I can either pray for luck or time to go. Oh, what's in here? I guess I could pray for luck. Taking a moment more, you close your eyes and raise, to, raise a prayer to your spirit guide. Aussie panther? This morning it is the form of a panther, but that will become once the journey truly begins. A great calm descends on you. Time to go. Time, then to depart. You lift back the flap of your hut and step into the early morning sunrise. So, to the outpost. Eyes follow you as you leave the hut and walk towards the great Shemotun Wall. The frontier people of this tiny settlement are well aware of your mission. I might as well greet them. You turn to them and bow. Some smile and reply but are too afraid to approach. Others make gestures of protection. You are going beyond the wall, so they believe you are to be cursed. A man is waiting on the path of, to the Cantaponian gate. The final doorway begins. Anderland, or other words which could, we could say, and the wilds of Karabad. You recognise the sergeant of the Sight Master's warrior. He holds out his hand. Here he is. So, greetings. Or get out of my way. We're not going to be rude, we'll say greetings. 
Greetings, Sergeant. He touches his forehead with two fingers. You are almost ready, he says. I have for you a gift from the king. Twenty-four gold pieces. Ooh, gold. It is all we can spare this time. He holds out a pouch. So we either take it, take half, or refuse it. For that all three would we refuse it. It's no point taking half, so we'll just take it all. You accept the gift graciously, thank you. You should buy some supplies before you pass the wall. Sergeant says, and then you must collect your spellbook if you wish magic to aid you. Finally, you should wish to practice your swords play. I will go one last round with you, and he points with his staff towards the training ground. onto the training ground and he wraps the base of his staff in leather, ready by sword. To begin, the sergeant says, we'll practice the stances first, defend yourself against me. Okay. It's a powerful enemy, by defending you will receive the minimum damage from any attack he makes. The sergeant might defend himself as well. The round is a stalemate and he will now defend myself, he says. Whenever he attacks you play damage damage me but a strong will use more up power. You should choose a weak attack. So this is my power level I'm guessing. So that's the power. So we want more of a weak attack, so yeah let's go for a two. Side swipe. You swing with a weak attack, rushing for the sightmaster sergeant, who is defending. Good choice, a strong attack. More of your power. But obviously our power goes down the more we attack, so if you used it all we'll probably be in a bad situation. So he wants me to defend myself now. Because he's a strong attack. You defend yourself, the Sight Master attempts a strong attack, but you receive only a small amount of damage. He will be weaker now, so that his next attack will be lower. I will defend myself. You defend yourself again, building up your power for next turn. The Sight Master Sergeant also defends. No one is hurt, but both of you will have more power next turn. He raises defense, but says nothing. I want to attack instead. Make a medium attack going for the sword. Still master free. who raises his defense. Free. So I'll defend this time. You raise your guard. The sight master tries a strong attack. Your defense works well. His next attack will not be as strong. He lifts his guard and gives you no other clue. Let's do another three. You perform a medium play, rushing for the Sightmaster who is defending. My next pack will be, he declares. He's probably lying to defend. Hold back, Sightmaster performs a weak attack. He receives a small amount of damage, but he'll be stronger now. So let's defend again. You keep yourself defended, raising your strength. Now let's go for an all-out blow. Lunge. You play a strong attack overwhelming the Sightmaster. He bows. You have finished me. Excellent. So we lost four stamina from that. Now let's continue. So. You seem to remember the basics, the Sergeant says, breathlessly. Good. Another round. Uh, if he wants, just one more go, maybe then. Radio guard. Looks like master's powerful enemy. By the venue, receive a minimum damage. So let's defend again. Still nothing. Let's small attack. 
Ooh. Oh, let's see, do you all out then. Defend. Defend. And then let's try and beat him. Nope. I'll defend. And then we'll do a small attack. So we lost four summer again, but we won. Continue. Eh, uh, we've had enough training. You shake your head. Very good, the sergeant agrees. But if you wish a bount in earnest, then I warn you, I will not go easy on you. He indicates the wider yard and there is sp space for a true match. So we can fight in the yard, but let's do something else first. Let's collect our spell. On one of the huts, set slightly back from the others, is decorated with griffins and strange symbols. A terrible sm smell enchants from its doorway. This is a hut of the ch chief mage. He has been preparing your spellbook for days, reading charters to work out the spells. Will be available to you in different locations in the hills and beyond. Let's go inside. We need a book. You lift the flap and go inside. The mage looks up at with. Argonus sleepless eyes and presses the book into your hands. Do you understand how to use this? He asks. Uh, new. No. So tell me. Tell me. Each spell is crafted with the most alignment of three stars. It begins. The spell Zap, for example, is made with the alignment Zarphodus, Inktigis, and Pygmy. Said it wrong, probably, but that is not important. What matters is that the spell is called. What it does, Zap, will give you the control over lightning. Hot will create a fireball. Froth will create a force field around you. Shall I continue? I get the gist. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. He scratches his absolutely at his ear. Remember, some spells will cost you your effort to use, but the ones that don't will not work without a focus. An item of some kind. You will need to read the book to know what. Research magic using the spellbook button on the map. I notice my ebex I got now. So we can now approach the gate. We'll do it later. We'll have a look at the spellbook. So it's got all the different spells we can use. Prof, while, law, dumb. Big walk. And then those look quite some interesting. Right, just quickly have a look at the settings. Hmm. So you're just looking a bit more on the map. Uh, let's go get our rations. Small traders in the settlement supply the site master's warrior with weapons, armor, food, and clothing. You go over with the sergeant to, st to stall. Selling flatbread and cheese. Two gold pieces per ration, the owner says. Well, we've got 24, so we have plenty. Ah, uh, but we could buy more. Haggle. Let's try and haggle, at the very least. Do you know who I am? I'm the Angus Christus Waller, you tell him. The man looks uncomfortable, I know that. I have to feed my family today, whatever happens to the crown. Yeah, I'll buy more. You check your pack, there is plenty of room inside. Six is probably too much, I'll take four. I'll take four rations, Is eight gold, the man says holding out a hand. I'll buy them. We need, we need food, we don't know how much well, until we get to food more often. Buy them. You hand over your coins and the man places four rations carefully into your pack. You must be sure that you eat every day or you will suffer. The sergeant tells you. 
standing at your side. Eating more will give you extra strength, but it is not necessary. Check the contents of your pack using the item bag. Or the items button on your map. Which is here. Okay. So we've got rations, weapons, treasures and our spell book. So let's not go to the gate just yet. Let's finish up here by going to fight in the yard. You head over to the yard to practice a bound of real fighting. The sergeant removes the cloth padding from the base of his staff. Unsheath my sword. This time you are not in tensions, he says. You will have to read them for yourself. Be ready. Uh, let's def no, actually, do a small attack. Sight Master smiles at you, raises his staff in salute, and takes his position. You begin with a slight jab, saving your energy needlessly, needling him and trying to test him. The Sight Master comes with a tough blow, balancing his strength and his impact. He slips the foot of his staff neatly onto your blade. You see your arm grow tense. He's ready for a strong attack. So let's defend. You drop yourself into a crouch as his powerful powers forward with a cry. It only tires him out. Well, he's used quite a bit of power, so let's try. Let's do a, a five. A cut. Here we do damage. Time to attack. You swing your sword fast in towards the chest, but he moves his, his move is fast and careful, and he's pretty able to parry. The very worst of the strike, you have winded him. You are strong, he acknowledges. His eyes follow your shoulders. He's probably about to defend himself. You realise a strong hit would be wasteful now. So let's do like just one. There we go. Cleverly you read his intent and attack slightly, saving your energy while still wounding him. His own weapon is raised in defence. He shows his teeth. He left his breathless but he, le he, was, he is left breathless but not seriously hurt. His guard's coming up, conserving his energy so his next strike can be stronger. So I think he's going to attack, but I don't think it's going to be strong. So let's just do like a four. Yeah, that'll do. Cut. Okay. Sightmaster's ready to leap behind the cover of a nearby hut as you come at, at him again. Sightmaster's sight the sightmaster shakes his head. Not bad, he grunts. Clearly weakening. His eyes narrow in preparation for great effort. So we'll defend now. You whip up your defense as he attacks a strong stroke. Well done, he grumbles. Panting from a wasteful effort, he watches your footwork closely. You hear observers in, observers in the gra and gathered crowd murmuring expectations but they do expect a violent blow from you from him or from you well let's go all out then thrust I was defending acting quickly you rush forward with a deep heavy slash but the impact clangs against his defending staff and you only lay a minor wound he grins his breath begins to heave he's struggling to stand upright things are getting serious where is he testing you before? Now he is working hard. You see his biceps tense. He is preparing to strike hard. Well, can we? Maybe we can have strength him. No, we won't risk it. We'll defend. No, we wouldn't been able to. You ready yourself to block, and as he launches forward boldly, he only exhausts himself. You escape mostly uninjured. Let's do all that blast now against him. A cut. There we go. Leaping into action, you sweep your sword across his body with a powerful force. It is enough to finish him. Sightmaster throws down his staff. You have me, he declares with a grin. So we lost five stamina. Rough going. Let's continue. The sergeant is gasping for breath. He bows to you once more. Not bad, he declares. 
but you need to cover yourself more or the breast out there will take you apart. The, bre the beast out there will take you apart. As he talks, a nearby healer hurries out of her salve and your health, and the sergeant is quickly restored. So the only thing we can really do now is approach the gate. Let's do that. You've reached the foot of the mighty gate. It is sealed. Sergeant placed one hand on the wood. The gate has been locked from somewhere to deter raiders, he tells you. But you will have no difficulty. The stars in this place allow the DOP spell to be crafted and he stands back. So it's cast a spell. So, job. Tap the letters to find spell. T. O. P. Open lock. Open locks and doors requires stam one stamina. Cast. Job. You weave the spell. One by one, the great tumbles of the door begin to creak and groan. Then the hinders turn with a noise like hail on a canvas roof. These gates are not open since our last champion was lost. The sergeant says, I wish you more luck than he. Perhaps you will even meet him on your travels. I fear he is dead. Um, if I overtake him, then is he too slow? That does not concern me. I say, if I overtake him, then is he too slow? Then if I overtake him, then is he too slow? The sight master nods, peering at something on the horizon. I believe he is returning, but transformed. I hope you will meet the same fate. He claps on your shoulder. Continue. Enter the gate. Together you step into the shadow of the wall. One last word, he declares. When you have the crown, find the highest point you can find. We will be watching. Watching from where? <laughs> I understand. I understand. I will not wish you a safe journey to Car, For the way ahead will not be safe. The sergeant murmurs as he peers into the distance through the open gate. The Sightmaster's warriors are selected from birth for their incredible power of telescopic vision. You cannot help but wonder how far he can see. Or what he can see. Tell him what lies ahead. Enough talk. Tell me what lies ahead. It would be exciting to not know he. Plus he might be a bit incorrect because it will be changing. Enough talk. Enough talk. It is time to go. Without another word, you pass through the gate. The faces of the folk watching you at the park feel the hopes that you rest that rest on you and your quest. The early morning air is crips and the rising sun pants. The slopes in the shade are peaceful, beautiful, concealing the evil that lies ahead. So we might leave it there. So see you next time.